Alrighty, hey, what's up you guys? Gavin here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a pretty cool game. Um, the game we're looking at today is going to be Mobile Pac-Man. Alrighty, so the first thing we're talking about are my first impressions of the game. Uh, I think it's an anniversary thing. I think either Google did a collab. Well, my first impressions of the game are that, well, it's really cool. I thought it was really cool that they had... Uh, Pac-Man is an option for mobile. Um, I love playing Pac-Man. Uh, it's a really fun arcade game. It's kind of addicting, especially since it's free. Uh, some some arcades, they'll have you, you know, pay for Pac-Man and stuff. I went to Juice Land, and they had a Pac-Man uh, table, and it was free. It was free to play, and I thought that was really cool, because I had never really experienced that before. Um, with uh, with an arcade game, so yeah, and also really like that the like name or like the the maze spells out Google uh, in the background. It 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 makes for a really interesting experience, but um, also it has its uh, quirks as well for sure. Alrighty, so the next thing we're talking about are the uh, mechanics slash function. Now, I have a lot to say about the mechanics and the function of uh, the mobile Pac-Man. First off, I have to say, it's probably one of the hardest Pac-Man games I've ever played. It makes for a really expert level, ex well, not expert, but just a little bit more uh, advanced level experience with the game. Um, the corner's a lot more tight. It seems as if the ghosts are a little bit faster and a little bit more intuitive with where exactly Pac-Man is going to be. Um, it's, like I said, it makes for a really difficult experience. And also the fact that it's touchscreen. It's not like a drawing function or anything. Like, a drawing mechanism would have worked a little bit better. Like you could draw where exactly uh, Pac-Man's going instead of swiping because like I said, it makes for a really difficult experience, I felt. Uh, it's cool that the Google background is, like, saying, but the corners are so tight. And so swiping, you know, real quick is just almost impossible. It took me, like, three or four times before I actually was able to beat the first level. And quite frankly, that's not normal. I feel like with regular Pac-Man, you know, it, it's fairly simple to to get through the first round, you know, I think I'm like maybe one or two tries and I'm already on to the second one. But with this one, like it took me four or five tries. Like I was really hustling just to get past the first round. That's just a little bit about the mechanics and the function of uh of the mobile pac man. Alrighty, so the next thing we're talking about are the game similarities. Um some games that Pac Man reminds me of Pac-Man, I think, is a pretty unique game, and I think if anyone were to try to uh, emulate it, it would be, you know, kind of obvious. Uh, Pac-Man is such an iconic uh, game and arcade game. You know, it's, it's pop culture and stuff that people would catch on real quick. But a couple that would come to mind are, like, the snake game. Like, this one game where, like, you feed the snake and the snake gets longer. I mean, it sounds like snake yo, but it's a little bit more different, and it's geared towards mobile. More so than, I think, Snakeyo. I think Snakeyo was more for PC at first. But, um, that comes to mind. And then, yeah, Snakeyo, of course, also comes to mind as kind of, uh, somewhat of the same function. There might be some off-brand Pac-Mans, or, uh, you know, if you do a quick Google search or some stuff, I mean, there's probably, probably something out there. Alrighty, so some of the good things that I think come from this game. One, uh, the fact that you can play a mobile Pac-Man is honestly just so cool. Uh, late at night and I'm wanting to play Pac-Man, I can just pull it up on my phone and it's already kind of installed and stuff. Uh, I think those are some, some things to note, the convenience of it. It's got a really cool design and things. It's really addicting. Like, even though it's kind of difficult, it's like super addicting as any other... Pac-Man game would be. The fact that it is a little bit more difficult makes you want to play even more because you're like, girl, I didn't get it the first time. I gotta I gotta keep playing and stuff. So, that's kind of cool. It gives you a little bit of a challenge. You've had an, a relatively easy experience with Pac-Man or something and you kind of want something a little more advanced. This will probably give you that that buzz you're looking for. 
Alright, so the last thing we're talking about is uh, the gaming style and genre. Um, gaming style is just a classic arcade game, um, classic mobile game, uh, it's a maze game. Tags that were coming up with, uh, with Pac-Man. Um, very vintage, it's a very vintage game in my opinion. You know, very old school. Uh, but not like boring old school, like, you know, old fart old school, like, you know, vintage, you know, retro and stuff. <laughs> I, I can't get over the fact that this is Google in the background. It's really cool. And it's got these like, col these colors and stuff that I really like. As far as gaming style goes, like you're being chased by ghosts, trying to collect all these dots, uh, and it's like a, it's also kind of a maze. Um, I don't know. It's a really interesting uh, take on an arcade game, a classic arcade game. Alrighty, guys. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any other suggestions for movies, music, games the like, leave in the comment section. I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, to rate this game, I'll probably give it like a 3 out of 5. Um, I would have given it a higher score, but it was just, it was kind of difficult. I mean, like I said, the mechanics, you know, they're kind of uh, just slightly wonky and just a little bit uh, challenging. For, for the average gamer. Uh, if you're like really an intense gamer, you might not have as much trouble or anything, but I think for the average gamer, it'll be just a little bit, um, a, l a little bit f higher than intermediate, in my opinion. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.